when I was in sin, there were particular things that I really enjoyed doing, that I really enjoyed. And I wasn't really interested in changing because I was doing things that I really liked. Then I started to learn more and more about God. Then I started to see that it was not beneficial for me to continue on in sin. So even now, as I grow more in God, I am seeing how crazy or how foolish it is to not live for God. Let's go to 1 Peter 3 and 12. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Yes, when you are in sin, you can do the things that you like and stuff like that. But when I was doing that purposely, I started to see that many bad things are happening to me. And I used to think that, why are so many bad things happening to me? Like, what am I doing wrong? Then when I started to learn more about God, I saw that disobedience to him curses me. And I don't want to be cursed. I don't. I'm sorry. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. So what does that mean? God is looking over you. God is watching over you. He have your back. He is willing to help you more. This is one of many reasons why I serve God. Because I need help. <laughs> I can't live this life on my own, per se, without God. And his ears are open unto their prayers. Have your prayers, have any of your prayers been answered? Well, Kevin, you know, I have been praying and it seems like God is ignoring me. Why is that, Kevin? For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. So what is the key word in that? Righteous, right? So if you are not following his rules and regulations, why do you expect God to answer your prayers? When you are not adhering to him, you expect to him adhere to you or listen to your prayers. You are not really paying attention to him, but you want him to pay attention to you. How does that sound? He has power over you. And he tells you what to do. But you don't do it. And the main reason why you are in trouble. Why? Because you are disobedient. So you are coming to him when you should have done that in the first place, asking him to change things. But the reason why things are the way that they are now is because of your disobedience. How does that sound? Sound really crazy, right? How about just obey and have an easier life? Even if you have money, even if you have a nice car, house, so on and so on. You know, as people, we see people with good things and we believe that their life is really, really nice. We are only looking on the outside. 
What if we were to look in the inside? I can tell you this, when you live without God, you are going to be depressed. You are going to have other psychological issues. Your life is not going to be too happy. Your life is not going to be enjoyable. Why? Because you are living away from the source that gave you life, that gives you life. What if my iPod, like, let's say that I use my iPod for 10 hours and I don't charge it. What is going to happen to it? It is going to die, right? Why? Because I am not using the source that gives it power. What if we don't What if we are not connected with the source that gives us life? What is going to happen to us? Bad things. When you choose to disconnect yourself with God, your quality of life is going to decrease. I am not talking about being rich or poor or so on and so on. I am talking about inside because I believe a person can be poor and if they live for God, they are not going to lack. I am not saying that they're going to have this big house and God is going to give them like 18 cars and stuff like that. No. Inside. People try to fulfill their life with so many things. But they find out the more things they get, the more empty they feel. They try to fill that void with a husband and that does not work. They try to fill that void with a wife, a car, a house, so on and so on. And they find out that it does not work. They are still empty inside. What can fill that void? God. That is what you are missing. And his ears are open unto their prayers. So if you have been praying and you feel like God is not listening to your prayers, what should you do? Repent. This is why I tell everyone, before you pray, repent. Some people are so prideful where they don't want to repent because they may say that, hey, Kevin, I don't really do anything bad. Like, I don't kill people. I don't murder people or do all of this crazy stuff. Man, if you are not obeying God, even if it is the tiny stuff, you still have to repent. To be so prideful to the point where you don't want to repent, that is an issue. That is an issue. Pride. Okay. But the face of God, or, but the face of the Lord, is against them that do evil. I don't want the Lord to be against me. I'm sorry. When you choose to disobey God, when you choose to disobey the Lord, this is saying that he is going to be against you. How crazy is that? Can you imagine the Lord being against you? So many people say, and I have contacted some, God is love. Yes, he is love. But he is a person that punishes as well. He is the same God that would send enemy nations to other nations to destroy them. Because they choose to disobey God. Or chose. Well, he still does it now. <laughs> 
we need to read the Bible more because many of the things that we say, we will find that what we are saying is wrong. And many of the questions that we may have, it can be answered in the Bible. But we choose to, you know, watch more TV and and be on Facebook all day long and so on and so on. So I pray that this makes sense. When you are for God, I know for myself, like there have been situations where like there is nothing that I can say, there is nothing that I can do, there is nothing that I can really think to fix the issue that I have been in or the issues that I am in now like what can I say what can I do how can I worry to change that issue and ever since I have been living for God all I have been doing is do what I can and trust God with the rest like, I am not going to sit there and worry, you know, for weeks and months and stuff like that, wondering what is going to happen. What is the point? Why worry when you have no power over it? Only power you have is prayer with God. I am not going to worry about it. Why? When you choose to not have faith in God, it is going to harm you. I believe that is one of the many reasons why people have some of the problems they have now because they choose to not believe in God. They choose to not have faith in God. I am not going to worry. I am going to do and say what I can and you know, and if that does not change anything or if things don't work out to where I need things to be, hey, it is out of my hands. No point in worrying about it. Now, everyone else may worry. Oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin, you know. <laughs> no point in worrying. Because in other times, same thing. I could not do any more or say any more, so on and so on. I had to completely trust in God. And he saw me through. Each time when I was serving God. So I pray that this makes sense. Stop believing that you have to do everything within your own power. I am not saying to sit there and not do anything or say anything and, hey God, you know, just drop it right into my hands, you know, just <laughs> right there, you know. I am not saying that. Of course you should be proactive, but when it gets to the point where there is nothing else that you can do or say or whatever else. You have to put it in the hands of God. So I pray that this makes sense. When you are living for God, God has your back. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Only the people that are in sin needs to worry. Why? Because God is against them. So you should worry <laughs> if you are in sin. But if you are not in sin and you are living for God, you don't have to worry. Why? Why? All you are doing, you are stressing yourself out. 
and possibly you are making yourself sick too. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.